Hello there, my Aries Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Aries? You can ring my bell or ring my bell. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Aries, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Aries. What's going on with you? What's going on, Aries? <sighs> God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Aries collective. Aries, I had to say when I seen that magician card and that eight of cups, you know what popped into my head? Poof. Bitch, be gone. So, I don't know. You may be saying that to somebody. <laughs> Someone may be saying that to you, but that's what I got. Poof. Bitch, be gone. <laughs> Holy hell, Aries. Oh, poof, bitch, be gone. What the hell is going on there? <laughs> He's king of cups. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Looks like a happy celebration. Could be some confetti, balloons. Might be a party. King of Cups. Or Knight of Cups, excuse me. I said King of Cups because he's at the bottom. So uh, some of y'all could definitely be dealing with the water sign energy here. Could be coming in. Ooh, conflict. But I'm also getting pia uh, pinata energy on that. Piata. <laughs> pinata energy on that. What's going on here? Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups. We got the Two of Cups. Could be meeting somebody if you're out. Two of Wands here. Yeah, I think you're going to be avoiding this conflict. You're looking somewhere else. Or someone else is looking somewhere else. I don't know. Is this going to be a cross-watcher energy? Just as balance coming in. Libra energy. Oh. Aries. What's up? Twenty-two. I like that. I can't get a feel on that Five of Wands energy. So I don't think that's yours. I am really drawn to this Two of Cups and this Two of Wands energy. That Justice card, the, the scales down there. The two there. So two, two, two. A lot of you could be, as I look up, there's three, three, three on the phone. Uh, above this ten of cups and this uh, nine of cups is the uh, the devil energy, Capricorn. Three of swords. Between that, we got the empress card. What did I say? Some of you all may be saying, poof, bitch, be gone. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Sweet Jesus, Aries, what's going on here? So that, that would be a fake empress. <clears throat> That's why I don't think that five of wands is yours. I don't think that five of wands is yours. What the hell is going on here? Between the empress and the justice, we got the three of pentacles. Covering that, eight of cups, poof, bitch, be gone. Let's cover that eight of cups, the nine of swords. So, uh, someone could be leaving somebody. But we got this two of cups down here. So, uh, Aries, what I feel is this is like, 
what's going on around. This could be like the main storyline, I guess. And then this is this two of cups, this two of wands, and this justice energy down here. This beautiful two 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 is a uh, kind of that that bridging gap. So with that three of pentacles, that could be work related. That could be in church. That could be friendly fam family friends. Whatever you got going on here. But Aries, I feel you're that two of cups, that two of wands. Things are going to balance out on you, but someone is going to be like, poof, bitch, be gone. Uh, and they know it. And they know it. So is this cross watcher energy, Aries? Yeah, this is cross watcher energy. We got Pisces here. Someone, you know, that moon card energy. Someone could be trying to throw some some energy your way to make you feel a certain sort of way, but I don't I don't think you gotta worry about it. That's gonna be that sort of return to sender energy because we got three three here too, the three of pentacles, and that uh, three of swords. Yeah, that that conflict I don't feel that around you, but it's like a pinata energy. So you know. Uh, if someone's trying to send some shit towards you, it's going to backfire. It's going to backfire. That's going to be your birthday gift from the universe, okay? So if someone's trying to send some shit to you, it's going to, you know, it's going to be returned to sender. Poof, poof, bitch, be gone, right? What the fuck? <laughs> Aries. Woo, so we got this King of Cups energy down here with the Four of Swords. So I think there is an admirer energy right here. Um, the heavy water side energy. Um, four swords. That could be someone's ex. Seriously? Because we got that three of swords there. And I said poof bitch be gone. Someone could be letting somebody go. coming towards you or you can meet this person now this doesn't have to be anybody that you know right this could be someone single that you meet out at a party and uh you know you don't realize that they may have been out of this relationship for a while but they still got some crazy ass um energy around them that's just throwing hoodoo voodoo on anything and everyone Yeah, that Four of Swords energy feels like you haven't met this person yet. Or if you have, it's new. Because this isn't giving me karmic energy. I think whoever this poof, bitch, be gone energy is, is in the past. It's in somebody's past. I think they just throwing shit at anybody and everybody. Yeah, you're kind of protected from this energy. That's sort of a... Uh, Emotional type uh, manipulation. Someone's trying to send your way. Yeah, you're like this King of Pentacles energy. Page of Swords with the Six of Swords. That shit just goes right over you, right? That's sort of like your shield of protection there. Or that could be whoever the hell this King of Pentacles energy is. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the fuck. I don't even think you know who the hell this energy is, to be quite honest with the Aries. Uh... They're just going after whoever the hell this King of Cups is with, right? It's just whoever the hell's in that picture, whoever the hell's in their in their narrative. But it's going to be a return to sender, and that's going to be like, you know, that conflict returning. We don't see the Hierophant, but it feels like divine protection, right? With that two of cups and that two of wands, this I don't feel like you've met this person. And that, that sort of justice coming in, you know, sometimes that's how spirit works, right? The people that heal themselves and are dealing with all that sort of toxic, hot mess energy that's going around, the ones who are divinely protected and guided are protected from that energy. This could be someone that you meet. They could be a um, water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And we had Pisces up there with the moon, didn't we? For some of you, that's that could be why this person is protected. Because, where's the moon card? 
I know we had the moon card. Where's it at? You're right there. Look. Yeah, this this belongs to this water sign energy, right? There's the moon. There's the moon. This empress energy that's attached to this sort of Capricornic energy. Can't get someone out of the head. They're going fucking nuts over this. Over this water sign masculine or feminine, however the hell it goes in your situation. But anything she sends in his direction gets returned to sender. So you could be meeting somebody and they could tell you about their crazy ass ex, okay? What the fucking hell? Okay, Aries, so that, that's one narrative. Let's just throw you down another story. Because I feel like that's like cross-watcher energy, but I don't even think this is your cross-watcher. Um, you know, like we always say, if someone's watching you, someone's been watching them watching you, it could be that type of energy. You don't even have to know who the hell some of these crazy-ass people are, okay? You don't. Sweet Jesus, Aries. I'm trying to cut back smoking and you all got me fucking smoking. What is this about? The Emperor gets the victory in the end. So I think this uh, King of Cups energy, someone you could be meeting here, could actually be an Emperor in disguise. They are a wounded warrior and you're going to realize that because, you know, they met up with a crazy bitch or crazy dude. Take it how it resonates, right? What was that fatal attraction with Glenn Close? Lord have mercy. But balance is coming in, but it, it's balancing for two. It's that Earth Angel energy, guys and gals. It's the 144, right? It's that balance coming in. Two healed people finding each other. But still dealing with, you know, toxic energies around. Friends, family, lovers. Baby mama, baby daddies, however the hell it goes. But you don't even have to know these energies. That's the fuck shit part about it, y'all. Between this Two of Cups and the Justice card, we got this Ace of Pentacles. That feels like perfect timing. Between the Justice and that Two of Wands, it's the Ten of Wands. The ones that do the work. That are looking forward to better opportunities, better options. The ones who are looking towards a better future, right? Because from the two of wands, you go into the three of wands, which is that happily ever after shit, right? Waiting for that new horizon to show up. Waiting for a balanced situation to come in. That scales, man. Things are going to balance out for those that have done the work. It's the divine timing because the three pentacles are over here on this two of cups energy. I'm wanting to feel like you haven't met this person, but you may have, but it may not be in the in the way that you meet them. You know, it, it's not always that way. You're up here looking at something. So we got temperance angels. So this is a healed uh, situation. This is a healed partnership. You're both able to fill your own cup. So there's no neediness. There's no codependency. The hermit, you've been feeling this sort of connection with somebody for a while. You've been paying attention. You've been noticing it. This is healing work, right? With the Ace of Wands. When it's time to take action. You'll know when it's time to, uh, you know, get involved and, and uh, put yourself out there to date and to meet people. Because between that, we get the King of Wands energy. The one that takes the action. <sighs> and we got the Two of Wands over there. So what, what covers this King of Wands energy? Shits and gig of the fucking Queen of Wands. <laughs> the King of Wands is looking at the Two of Cups. This Queen of Wands is over here looking at this uh, Two of Wands. Crowning that is the Wands, Ace of Wands. Below that, we got this Six of Pentacles, which is bringing in balance, meeting somebody. 
for those who have done the work. And that Ace of Pentacles is like divine timing. Fucking Ten of Cups. Damn it, Aries, boom. Fifteen fifteen on the phone when I said that. Which goes to six six, which is balance and harmony. Which goes down to uh what? Twelve, which goes to three. Didn't I say three 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 on the phone earlier? Two 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 three three three. The healed energies find each other, y'all. Uh the ones that know how to navigate that sort of uh fuck shit energy. That's why you're the unions are protected from that negativity because you're both strong, able to, you know, work amongst yourself. Temperance energy there. You're able to fill your own cup. So there's not that neediness in a relationship. King and Queen of Wands. You're both independently active. You both have your own things going on, right? So, you know, um, to the fucking Ten of Cups. Dare we see what's over that Ten of Cups. The Two of Swords. It is divinely protected. You're both protected. That's a sword over each of you. Because when I look at that, you know, uh, the weddings where they used to put the swords over the bride and groom when they come down to show uh, divine protection. I think that's military, isn't it? I know that means something, but that's what I get with that. You're both doubly protected with that uh, Two of Swords energy. Fucking the Hierophant. Sorry, Jesus. <sighs> mm. And someone gets left out in the cold. You both leave people out in the cold. Spirit is protecting you from the people that you left out in the cold. Poof, bitch, be gone. <laughs> what the fuck, Aries? <laughs> Lord have mercy. There's the chariot. Archangel Michael. Aries, I love that. We get the chariot card, and then we got the six of cups, the ten of swords, and the nine of cups. This is that energy of um, endings, new beginnings. Endings, new beginnings. Endings, new beginnings. Endings, new beginnings. Wish fulfillment. A lot of you, that past energy being blocked to go forward and be happy. Plus your fire sign, so there you go, Aries. King and Queen of Wands. Archangel Michael. I swear, Aries, this isn't... <sighs> Happy birthday, Aries. If I'm not mistaken, you all got a good reading the last time, didn't you, Aries? I think you guys are on a good uh, trajectory here. But yeah, it comes down to those that do the work, that bust their ass to move away from the toxic situations in their past and that are independently working on their own future, right? To come and meet somebody where you're both able to do your own thing, but you come together to build and create. You're both strong, independent. It's go-getter energy, right? It ain't the people that sit around and wish and wonder and fret and worry. It's okay. Hey, this is the journey I'm on. And I have, well, that's the journey I'm on. So, you know, can we just kind of travel down the road together for a while? Hmm. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Happy birthday, Aries. Happy fucking birthday.